going outside. Yeah, we we're gonna check in on your progress. Go see what it looks like. <laughs> there she is. Yoga mat. Yeah. <laughs> That's something we're gonna have to figure out. Yo, hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. So, uh, this will be my first video on the CRX build. I <sighs> figure if I didn't go ahead and get started, I never would. It's so freaking cold in here. 50 degrees. Anybody that's watching from like Colorado, y'all are probably like, that ain't shit. But it's cold to me here in Arkansas. Pretty much just ripping it apart, taking everything out. Just got done taking the dash out. Next, I'm gonna be taking out all the AC and heater stuff. Pretty much just getting it down to the firewall. I'm gonna drop the gas tank. Still gotta drop the exhaust, pull the shifter out. I did already install the has port radius rod believe it or not that was kind of a, a little bit more complicated than i thought it was going to be because i couldn't get the washers off they were just seized on there i had to kind of cut a slit in the uh in that washer or whatever you want to call it if any of you guys are doing this out here you know what i'm talking about i hope <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. It's kind of a rust bucket, to be honest. The very next thing I'm gonna be doing is drilling out these spot welds for this motor mount so I can get it removed. So I can put in my has port mounts. Just wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update on the rust bucket CRX. Look at all this freaking rust, man. That's just gonna be a job right there. Look at that. Oh, rust, rust everywhere. If y'all got any tips or tricks on how I can get this crap gone, just let me know. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. I can't even see that without the camera. That is bad. That is really bad. All the way down in there. Oh my god. Check out this speed hole. Ain't that an epic speed hole right there? Straight through to the floor. Look at that. 
Yeah. Ain't no rust reformer gonna fix that. I'm gonna have to weld something in there. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks like. Uh. I'm just. I was not ready for all of that. Got to uh, drill out these spot welds, get this motor mount taken out, get the rest of the parts and pieces removed off the firewall that I don't need, get it down to bare metal, get it prepped, primered, all that good stuff. I'm mainly just going to be focusing on, on all this rust. Rust everywhere. Jeez. It's freaking everywhere. You should have seen the the rear bumper support, man. It is just completely rusted out. Completely rusted out. I'm gonna try to salvage the top part that holds the bumper. And uh of interior parts nasty carpet I'll take this back inside so it don't rust out anymore too deep. Those two up there are going to be so hard. Yeah, it's looks impossible. There's an indention, I feel like. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I can never. Oh, it is laughable. I love it hurt. Oh, it may be the worst pain I've ever felt. Uh oh. Maybe we should just quit for it. What if you get it hot? Ooh. 
رو بچ کرد So it's the next day. It started getting a little bit late to be making all that noise last night. All the beating and banging I was having to do on that motor mount. Go ahead and show you what it looks like. Yeah, it's all bent up. Mostly drilled out. I got two more spot welds on the top that I need to drill out. But this morning I got my engine yeah baby wrapped up all nicely I'm anxious to get it unwrapped see what I got here let's do it There she is. There she is. Yeah, there she is. It's got a competition clutch. What? No way. I'm so excited. I'm at a loss for words right now. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Can't wait to mount that up. Marry it to my CRV transmission. Got a CRV uh, jack shaft. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna need a lot of freaking help. Oh, this is so freaking awesome. So I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> what I'm doing with this sonic saw here. It's kind of like a uh, like a grinder, but instead of spinning, it just kind of reciprocates back and forth. I got a little metal cutting blade on there, and. Uh, see there I'm just kind of cutting through what parts that I can like that was really hard to reach right there those those spot welds are really hard to reach with the drill so I'm just kind of getting in there and Getting it with the sonic saw, so yeah. a couple other spots. Let me get my light. There's a couple other spots I might try to hit right here. Let's see what happens when I slam it with the hammer. I'm just gonna break that free right there. So I just hit it really hard with a hammer. It broke free from there. That's got to be the easiest way of uh, getting that back part of the mount free from the chassis. You can see it's just all bent up and mangled. Now I got just a couple more spots here. 
to get. I'm actually just going to hit it a couple more times and see if it'll come loose from there. Uh, Alright, so I got this uh, mount off here finally. Okay, well, uh... <clears throat> now I'm just going to try to get these little tabs off here that I left behind. That one, I can't believe it didn't come off. That's just ridiculous. Alright, so I just got that final piece of metal off right here. Right here. That one was pretty easy. And I'm going to tell you right now, this Sonic saw has got to be the easiest way of finishing off this mount right here. It's awesome. Anyways. Whew. Done with that. That's right there. K24 is there. It needs to be here. Whew. I guess now I'm going to finish getting everything off this firewall. And... Get back with you then.